The world is evolving with each passing day, and with that, so are the means to have sex. Millions of us have been swiping right on dating apps in recent years as technology has removed the stigma associated with needing or wanting a hookup, and it should come as no surprise that with massive advancements in the field of humanoid robotics, more and more technology is now making its way into the bedroom as a result of recent lockdowns and social isolation. Watch the video till the end as we tell you all the details about sex robots and how they will play a major role in human sex life. Before we move further, let's look at what sex robots actually are. Sex robots have a humanoid appearance, behave and move like normal people, and have some level of artificial intelligence. Despite the fact that many inventors have produced elaborately instrumented sex dolls, there are currently no completely animated sex robots. However, simple machines that respond to touch, speak, and display facial expressions have been developed. The first example of the sex robot date back to the 16th century, when French and Spanish sailors built hand-sewn masturbation puppets from leather and used clothing. After that, the mannequin-based artwork produced by Hans Belmer, Man Ray, and Salvador Dali served as a significant source of inspiration for the development of the modern sex doll. Fast forward to the late 1970s, inflatable dolls started appearing in pornographic magazine advertisements and becoming on sale via mail. These sex dolls had penetration points at their mouth, vagina, and anus and were air-inflated. However, because they were inflatable, these dolls were prone to wear and tear and could not be used continuously. By the 1980s, latex and silicone were frequently being utilized in the production of sex dolls in order to increase their longevity and human-like appearance. In the late 1990s, the realism of sex dolls significantly increased. In 1997, Matt McMullen started making poseable, life-sized, realistic, tin-cured silicone rubber mannequins. McMullen used the feedback he received regarding his mannequin's anatomical accuracy as inspiration to make an improved version. To further improve the doll's longevity and lifelikeness, McMullen moved from tin-cured silicone to platinum-cured material in 2009. As a result, every other producer of sex dolls did the same to compete in the fast-growing market. According to many manufacturers, including Matt McMullen, companionship, is an important aspect of the sex bot dynamic, and the next stage is to include artificial intelligence into them. In that regard, new models for conversing, recalling crucial information, and expressing varied emotions have already been developed. One such design is named as Harmony, produced by McMullen, which allows users to select from thousands of conceivable combinations of appearances, attire, personalities, and voices to build their ideal partner. The sexiest robot in the world, Harmony, which is an android replica of a Japanese lady in her 20s, is essentially a life-sized Barbie that has an AI chatbot imprisoned inside of her. The real doll has a customizable personality, special awareness, facial recognition, and a touch-responsive personality. This robot has made people believe that having sex with robots is not that far away. You can also get a glimpse of robotic future in Barcelona, Spain, in the first hyper-realistic sex doll brothel in the world, which is available to anyone for 100 euros an hour. These dolls, which range in realism, responsiveness, and functioning, open a world of debate for psychology and science. This is not only done by men for men, as more and more women are beginning to create cutting-edge sex toys in a field that has historically been controlled by men. Co-founder and CEO of Lioness, an artificial intelligence-enhanced line of vibrators and apps, Liz Klinger introduced a study platform in 2020 where users could take part in medical or scientific studies and ask the questions about sex that we all have. The Lioness website also offers lots of straightforward sex guides. Moreover, Ars Electronica in San Francisco also encourages digital literacy and sexual activism through an annual conference that explores the influence of sex on technological innovation and uptake. They've inspired discussions in the past on topics like robot sex work, 
the worth of emotional labor, chatbots, and how to make toys for people with impairments, sexy games for youngsters, and things for the elderly. Whether all of this would be morally acceptable is up for debate, as many people are already against the idea of developing artificially intelligent sex robots. Some people worry that technology will remove people from the sex and relationship loop as the ever-innovative sexnology sector will completely dominate the future, providing minority or marginalized groups authority and lessening loneliness in individuals who experience a gap in their private life. Interestingly enough, robot ethicist Kathleen Richardson proposed for a ban on the development of sex robots in 2015 because of worry that such connections would normalize machine relationships and further dehumanize women. No matter what the naysayers argue with, the new artificial intelligence technologies created by scientists may soon enable sex robots to feel emotions similar to those of humans. Californian researchers have developed a printed skin that could allow robots to experience touch and other senses. The system is a component of a robotic platform that communicates with sensors affixed to people's skin. Scientists hope that by protecting humans from danger, humans will have more control over robots. Humans and robots are beginning to interact in a variety of ways. According to experts, AI robots will eventually fully merge into human social and sexual lives. It goes without saying that sex robots are designed primarily for sex, but they can also communicate with the user and possibly develop a friendship with them. Sex robots can also serve different functions depending on their intended function if they are employed in nursing and retirement homes for partner sex as well as to support solitary sex. They can also prove to be useful in prisons, convents, and perhaps even in the military. It's possible that by using sex robots, we'll learn that people are indispensable and that we'll need to establish new settings and circumstances where private interactions between people are once again feasible. Many companies are already supplying linked products to people at home with more time, whether they are lonely, remote, or want more social pleasure. It is also worth mentioning that these robots are a part of a massive market that is estimated to be worth upwards of a staggering $30 billion, and by 2027, it is expected that this value could reach $55 billion. Sales of sex toys have also increased worldwide, while the Asia-Pacific region is anticipated to experience the strongest growth rate over the next five years. Due to the shame associated with openly purchasing goods, those sales are primarily conducted online. Some people discover that sex robots can ease the loneliness and social stress as more and more people turn to sex dolls and mechanical companions. Even though sex robots have been on the market for some time, they are still in their infancy as a technology. Many futurologists predict that by 2050, there will be a large population of sex robots and most humans will be having sex with the artificial machines, with human-to-human -human intercourse replaced by virtual reality. Despite the fact that VR porn has not yet gained widespread acceptance, the sex industry is booming. And with more diverse options made possible by the internet, digital platforms, hookup applications, artificial intelligence, and advancements in 3D printing, the future for sex robots certainly looks bright. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.